amount of homes that I see under 10 years old that show signs of basement problems is pretty high for my taste. So having the experience of designing and seeing how basements are built, here are some reasons why your new basement might be a problem. The Geotech Report is simply a document that gives you information on the condition of the site that a home is supposed to be built on, the type of soil that's on your site, and it gives you parameters and design information on how your basement walls and your foundation system should be designed. And this is extremely important because your basement walls will forever be loaded with soil and all soil is not equal. Some soil expand like Orbeez when the soil comes in contact with water. Some soils put a higher amount of pressure on your wall than other soils and some soils retain more water than other soils. Let's say you're planning to purchase a new home in this new 30 acre development. All of the homes have the same basement, but the home you purchase is sitting in the one spot where bad soils exist. So whose basement walls do you think are going to last the longest? Not yours. So getting that geotech investigation and that report done is one of the most important things you can do to make sure that your basement walls are adequate for the environment that your basement is going to be in. On top of that, you gotta make sure your site is graded properly. If your house is in a valley, good luck. If the ground around the house is not graded down and away from your property, where do you think all that water is gonna go? Don't worry, I'll wait. Now the next thing is kind of personal for me and it's lack of steel reinforcing. The residential code does allow for your walls to be lightly reinforced. When I say lightly reinforced, I'm talking reinforcing bar spaced more than 18 inches on center. But as you see in this table, some circumstances allow basement walls to have no vertical reinforcing while simultaneously having a minimum of four horizontal reinforcing bars. Now to be completely honest, in most cases, a lightly reinforced concrete wall is capable of performing for what we need it to do. But when we pile on this next reason, which is bad construction sequencing, then it becomes even more of a problem. So the sequence of construction, I always specify the concrete wall gets built, the floor framing gets built on top of that, then you add the sheathing. And once all that is installed, then you can begin putting soil behind the basement wall. I specify this sequence because the wall will be restrained at two points. The bottom of the wall is restrained from bending by the footing. The top of the wall is restrained from bending by the floor structure. If the soil is backfilled before the floor is installed, then we have a situation where we have a cantilevered retaining wall. And the typical basement wall is not designed to behave like a cantilevered wall. Assuming all things are equal, cantilevered walls require more reinforcing and larger footings than a typical basement wall. Now, the way that a project is sequenced is up to an engineer or whoever's discretion. But if I'm designing the project, the floor needs to be built first before you backfill. And then last is maintenance. Homeowners today are not digging up their basements to see how the exterior wall looks like. We're covering up the interior wall so that it looks more like an integrated part of the house instead of a basement. Look at some of the basements nowadays. They don't even look like basements. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know there's a problem with the basement walls until it's already been leaking. And by the time that happens, we're already in trouble at that point. So whether you're a home older ha home older, what is a home older? So whether you're a new homeowner getting a house built or you're a contractor overseeing the construction of the house, keep some of these things in mind. Because to me, it is completely unacceptable for new homes to experience early signs of basement failure, especially when we have the knowledge, we have the resources and the capability to provide the most adequate basement solution. I remember this geotech associate of mine telling me a story about someone who wanted to build a home on the beach and put a basement there. Within a year, the basement started leaking. Yeah, protect yourself out here.